What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Lee Kane, and sometimes... It's Chris. My life a little twisted and it go like this. On the year side. I just got some pulled up in that with two holes like yeah so you guys today my cousin invited me to go to the gym with her no i won't be working out i'm just gonna go to <laughs> why i don't never got no sheets on <laughs> i don't never got no sheets on my bed anywho my cousin invited me to go to the gym with her so i'm just gonna be going for support no i don't want to work out um if you guys didn't know i was shot when i was 17 years old three times in my back, my arm, my leg, I have permanent nerve damage. So my left leg kind of be giving out. I don't, you know, I could walk on a treadmill. You feel me? That's the most you're getting out of me. I'm not squatting. I'm not potting. I'm not spotting. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. This cute little set, actually. Um, a gym set. So we're going to try this on. We'll put it on because. <laughs> you feel me? Like, I really want to give gym. I got my wig cap because when I get back from the gym, I got a wig to do, y'all. Yeah, finna eat something up. So, okay, so tell me how y'all like. Tell me how y'all like this gym fit. Like, it's giving me, I need to go to Tropical Smoothie. I need to get me a peanut butter banana smoothie. I gotta go pick up my two kids from their karate class. I, it's, oh, wait, wait. Let me put a wig on. Let me put a wig on. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. Y'all know this my go-to wig, the Nick Minaj bang. Do y'all call it the Nick Minaj bang? Or y'all call it the Chinese bang? I call it the Nick Minaj bang, you know? All right, let's see. Ooh, this wig smell like perfume. It smell like that, um, that Jimmy Choo. I want you. <laughs> and do and do and do. Let's see. I'm out of town. I do not know when I'll be back. Uh, 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 <laughs> Christopher! Where you at? Smoking. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Cause it is winter time in Michigan, so I'm gonna have my coat on. Uh, You're mad. Why are you mad though? This is the wig I gotta do when I get back. I already got her bleached. And put back with the hot comb. A lot of y'all asked me to do a full tutorial, a week tutorial on YouTube. That's coming soon, y'all. I swear it's coming soon. We're gonna get into that once wig companies wanna, you know, work with me on YouTube because no free promo. Like, hello? I tell y'all, I really been bleeding heavy. I just set up my doctor's appointment with my OB. So that's another reason I don't wanna work out and go too hard because literally just all that moving, I literally felt like. Ugh. I felt it coming out. TMI, I don't get no fucks. I wouldn't give a damn. <laughs> I wouldn't give a damn. No, y'all, I'm literally bleeding so heavy. I just got off my period um, of like the 15th of this month and it came back on the 20th. Heavy bleeding, heavy clots. I Googled it because y'all know I swear Google just know every motherfucking thing. I Googled it. They talking about I might have fibroids, whatever that means. And it's just, I'm just scared. I'm nervous. So I'll call my doctor. My doctor ain't available until January 9th see what's really going on because this is not normal like i usually i didn't even have a lot of periods growing up first of all because i was so active i started my period real late y'all like i started my period probably when i was 10th grade 10th grade i started my period and y'all i was so fucking disgusting y'all let me tell y'all what i did when i started my period because i had a best friend her name was amari why did i save the pad and bring it to school to show her like that's disgusting <laughs> That's probably why I didn't have friends. Like, well, Amari, she didn't cut me off. And like, Amari kind of knew I was a weird bitch, you know? But I literally brought the pad to school and showed her, like, Erica, what are you doing? So my mom had me on birth control before I even started a period. And then I had, I think I had missed a shot or something. And then I finally got my first period. 
and then I got back on birth control. So yeah, I didn't even when I was pregnant with my my daughter and my son, I didn't have heavy periods. Like before I got pregnant with them, I'm saying when I wasn't on birth control, I didn't have heavy periods. The heavy periods ain't start till this year. Like I don't know if it's the the alcohol, the stress, the whatever the hell it is, the abortion. <clears throat> I'm getting that checked out, but let's get to this gym because I got to leave by 2.30 because she said we're going to meet at 3 and we're going to see what's tease. I don't think I'm going to wear these glasses. This is giving me like, you know, we're not going to wear these, but these are my favorite glasses. Wish I could do a little curl, but I'm not. Okay, y'all, come on. Okay, what shoes? I think I'm gonna wear these. Yes, I'm a size 10, y'all. We're gonna put these on, see what it gives. <laughs> oh. Been stuck in traffic last 15 minutes. Damn, man. We're right by the gym, though. The gym is like literally right over there it's a i don't think y'all can see but it's a damn accident blocking the whole intersection and motherfuckers zooming past thinking i'm gonna let them cut in front of me no ma'am no ma'am i've been waiting here 15 minutes you gonna go back in the line like i did and wait your 15 minutes too because you're not getting in front of me i don't care if we got a bump bumpers <laughs> thank you because i just seen her drive past me so i think she gone she definitely getting there before me um, but we pulling up to the gym. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog a lot in the gym because I'm not even gonna be doing it. I'm probably gonna walk on a treadmill for like 10 minutes and then motivate my cousin and do other shit. Shit. I got me some water bottles. I don't know if I'm supposed to bring some fruits or some snacks or something. This one somebody told me like he's gonna hit the ambulance. My baby daddy got these off brand ass waters. He know I only like pure life water or ice mountain water. I don't like no great value water. Like what is it? What am I supposed to do with great value water? Seriously. I mean, I'm a drinking and shit like that, but when have you ever seen me drink great value water? Quit playing with me. So yeah, but we gonna drink this water, get this workout in, and I, I mean, I could tone up a little bit. You feel me? I could work on the love handles and squat, get some glutes going, but no, I just don't feel like it. Planet Fitness, baby. I gotta find my cousin somewhere in this parking lot. Y'all think they are gonna have Snickers? I only came to do them one time before in my life. Other than that, no ma'am. I think this is my cousin's car right here. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, we just did a 15 minute core stretch workout whatever that was and now we on the bikes getting it in getting it in getting it in okay y'all it's four o'clock did our little hour workout so we did 15 minutes on the treadmill 15 minutes on the bike and 15 minutes core workout and you know it was a vibe i want to get some more cute outfits like this we barely did anything and that's that was way more movement i have done in years other than fight my baby day <laughs> you know I me mean? other than chase my kids i did a lot that was more than you feel me so <sighs> well that was cool i wish i could have i couldn't vlog while we was doing a Workouts because we was using my phone to watch the lady workout. We had a little guide on the Planet Fitness app and shit like that. So let me go in here and go use the bathroom because I I'm gonna leave my car running. Hopefully, don't nobody steal it. Because baby, I have to pee. <laughs> Biggest of what? Okay, yo, we admire because I need to get me just a couple things. I think I need to get a frozen pizza. And some wet wipes for my purse because, you know, you never know when you might get licked up a little. You never know. Because tissue just sometimes don't ever be enough. Tissue sometimes is never enough. I'm sorry. 
So we're gonna get a frozen pizza, wet wipes, and I think my son got a prescription to pick up. I think his inhaler or his EpiPen. So I don't know if this is EpiPen or his inhaler, but we just got a little bit of stuff to pick up, not a lot. Yo, why get in the car and my car was on the whole time? How dumb can I be? And I remember one time I did this show when I was working at the car, the chair factory, I mean, car parts factory. I, okay, so I used to get to work at 6.45. Shit started at seven. You don't get a break until 11. Y'all, I, I shit you not, I came out for break at 11 and my car was running the whole, the whole four hours. I was like, wow, never do that again, Erica. <laughs> never do that again, idiot. I just did it again. Well, sucks to suck, basically. So I got some travel pack wet wipes. I got two of them. And you know, in case a bum try to touch me. Ew. I, I, I'm the Terminator. Bit. Okay. Um. Then I got a pack of chicken wings, two pizzas, and two red velvet cakes. Well, two little slices of little square cuts of red velvet cakes. Two bags of Funyuns for my kids two honey buns and a pack of starburst so let's get home because i got a wig to do y'all i'm not gonna vlog that part because i have to make tiktok videos for that but you know hope you guys enjoyed even though y'all didn't really mainly it's just me talking huh i really gotta learn how to vlog all right y'all i just did my wig videos which tiktok keep they took my wig video down because i had threw benny in the video but he not hurt. TV landing on the bed in the soft spot. So I'm finna have to probably re-edit it and just edit out the part where I threw Benny. Is you cool? Is you cool? Benny, he landed on his feet. Yeah. So let's yap. It's really nothing to yap about. I'm trying to think of something to bring up that is family friendly <clears throat> and not gonna start anything. You know? Are you in a role play maybe? Mm-hmm. You gonna be Poverty Thelma? Poverty Thelma? Yeah. So, I guess I do a story time. But one thing I hate about story times, y'all, I be talking in circles. Especially when I'm not on live. I don't know. It's something about just doing it on live that keeps me. You feel me? Put my cute glasses on. Okay, story time on how I found out my best friend was my crush so this is 2017 way before i even knew what a chris was other than chris bosh y'all i'm 17 i'm living my life like it's golden i'm doing my biggest one and you know i'm catching bodies back to back shit like that i had just found a new little town 15 minutes away from my city muskegon shout out muskegon 313 i mean did i just say 313 Shout out Muskegon 231. Come on. I know, I know. I know the code. So, just found the little town. Muskegon small as hell. They got accents there. You literally could walk from downtown Muskegon to the Heights in three minutes. Okay. I did it. Yep. I caught the Greyhound down there and I walked. So, anywho, y'all, was down there and, you know, I had met this cute little boy. I knew him on Facebook. And at the time, I think it was like 1920. And I had met him on Facebook, I think. So when I went down there, he was like, yeah, you can just stay at my house. Boom. Cool. I could stay at your house. Stayed at his house. All fun advice. Me and my best friend was down there together. And, you know, we was just having fun, basically. Literally just living like no responsibilities, no nothing but a phone bill. Literally. And we barely was paying that. We had motherfuckers paying that for us. He was down there. And I should have knew something was up because when we was down there, I'd be asleep. And every time I wake up, because I fall asleep in a brother room. Not even, no, no, because the brother wasn't there. I was just falling asleep in there because I didn't like sleeping on the air mattress that my crush had. So I'm like, you know, I'm just going to sleep in your brother room on his actual bed. Because, like, the, the air mattress, baby, the air, it ain't no air in here. By the time I wake up, the nails in the floorboard in my motherfucking back, baby. They, I, I'm getting scratched up by nails on the floorboard. I'm just going to sleep in your brother's bed. He don't even be there. He don't be there. He be out trapping all night. So, and he, he said it was cool. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to sleep in the bed. And every time I fall asleep and wake up, she will be in a room with him. And this is this how I know. This how I know I just be too nice. 
One time when I woke up and I walked in there and I seen them cuddle up under the covers, I should have known. But then I was thinking, maybe she was cold. <laughs> maybe she was cold and he just offered and, you know, one thing happened to her and, and maybe they just accidentally scooted next to each other and they just ended up cuddled up under the cover. So that's when I should have knew they was fucking, but that's neither here nor there. An another instance that I ignored another red flag was we was out, one of my friends, one of my Muskegon friends, I can't, because we had made friends on the Muskegon, y'all. Like, we was real likable party girls. You know, we was the life of the party, shaking our ass. You know, we knew where all the nicks was at. Like, baby, we knew everything. So, everybody wanted to hang around us. So, one time we was with this girl, and we was trying to find a way to come up with some money to buy a pizza. Like, that's how down bad we was. We didn't have no motion, just niggas. <laughs> no motion, just niggas. And some, some, some people will say that's motion, though, niggas. I'm too old to be saying that. I'll be honest. I'm too old to be saying niggas is motion. But at that time, when I was 17, having niggas was having emotion. Period. We was trying to find a way to come up with some money to buy pizza. And she was like, hold on, let me call. I was like. I know damn well that is not my shit I just heard. I know damn well. But I, I, I know I'm like, you know what? She called him brother. That's her brother. She just, she just said she was going to call him because maybe he going to look out for her. That's, they, she said that's her brother. Whatever that means. So she called him, girl, money came through like this. I'm like, damn, I just texted you. I just texted him 10 minutes ago. Like, that kind of threw me for a loop. That's when I kind of start getting suspicious because I'm like, mind you, me. Yes, like she knew that, and she knew because he he's literally all I would talk about. She's my best friend. She know, so I ignored that. I played it cool. I played my I played it safe. And also after that, I noticed every time I actually use her phone, she always was just so hesitant. She always was so hold on, like she has to delete something or hide something. Or it's like, girl, oh, I'm just trying to take a picture on your phone, baby. I had the iPhone the five C. Girl, you got the eight. Like, come on, can I please you? Drop? I want a picture, baby, for my edges. Fuck up. That's all I want your phone for, girl. I, I, I'm not worried about nothing else. I know you fucking my nigga. <laughs> but no, for I just, I just be wanting to take a picture on her fucking phone. She's just so extra. Like, hold on, no. And then she find a way to change the subject. Like, my best friend had a, a way with words at the time. Like, she had a way. She was very quick on her motherfucking feet when it came to lies and changing subjects. And I'm so slow. I'm just. I'm uh, all right. Well, okay. Oh, so after that, he was holding the car chilling one time, and she had left her phone on the seat unlocked. Tuh. Tuh. You think I'm not? Okay. You think I'm not? I, I'm in there like swimwear. Fuck you, ten mil. So I pick up her phone. I went right to Messenger. Well, well, well. Guess who was the first motherfucking message? My man. And y'all know what I mean when I say my man. That's my man, bitch. He's raw. You're my man. I'm going through that message. I'm just reading their messages. And do you have... Y'all. 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 It's the fact that from the first day we went down there, they were talking. Behind my back. You Snoopy. You Snoopy as hell. So I'm reading the messages. My stomach is in knots. I got a shit and I ain't even ate all day, baby. I was finna shit bubbles out. Like it was, I was, I was sick to my stomach because I would never do this girl like that. Like I was hurt. <laughs> like how could you? So I'm hurry up and trying to read her messages because ain't no telling what she gonna do if she get back in the car and see me on her phone. From the very first day we was down there is come in this, come in my room real quick. Where Erica? She downstairs. Come in here right quick. Where Erica is always where Erica or yeah, Erica was Erica was telling me she like you. That's why I just was trying to fall back and play my role. Girl, you're my best friend. What do you mean fall back and play your role? Why you ain't tell me you wouldn't feel me like that? I mean, why you ain't just say you want my nigga? <laughs> why you ain't just say something? So y'all, I'm sick as hell. I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna say nothing to her. I'm just gonna keep it cool. I'm gonna play my role because at the time, like I said, we both was hoes. Like that was my man, but at the time, he was the only one I was hitting. No, I'm gonna I'm play. I'm gonna I'm I'm find a nigga you fuck with, and I'm gonna fuck him. That's that's just how we was gonna play that right there. Before she ever got to the car, I hurried up and cause I I seen her looking in the roof mirror. I seen her walking up to the car, so I hurried up and tried to throw her phone back up on the seat, but it ended up falling on the floor. I'm like, oh shit! Now she gonna know I was on her phone, cause how the fuck her phone was on the seat first, and then it's on the floor. So the first thing she said, she got in. She said, "Why my phone on the floor?" I was like, "Girl, I don't know, bitch. Fuck you. Tell me why your phone on the floor, bitch. Why my nigga on the floor with you?" 
cool I need say nothing to her just kept playing my role basically I just was playing my role with her so then we leave from a ski again I'm still playing it cool she still don't know I know that my nigga okay we go back to Grand Rapids and we go to her granddad house you already know where I'm about to go. Like, I'm dead. Like, this, when I tell y'all, this is all fat. No, LO. I wish I still had my old phone so I could show y'all because motherfuckers always swear I be lying. Now, when I say I, I really live this shit, it's what I mean. <laughs> On my soul. On my soul. And I fucked the granddad. <laughs> I wouldn't get no dance. I wouldn't give a fuck. Like, I'm telling you now, he wouldn't even like one of them old ass. Come here, grandbaby. I just I, no. He was like a young granddad. Like you could tell, her mama had her young as hell, and he had his, her mama young as hell. So he was one of them granddads. He was real. You feel me? Fast forward. She don't even know I had her granddad because we did it while she was asleep. She don't even know about that yet. But the next day when we all woke up, her granddad was cooking breakfast. Boom, everything was just all copacetic, cordial, you know. And that's when I brought it up to her. I said, so when was you going to tell me you was And when I tell you my best friend got away with words, she just got away. She had a way with words. And I keep saying had because she's no longer here with us. She passed away. All right, Peter, her. But she is Snoopy. She was Snoopy. Be. so quick with everything like i can't even remember what she had said to like divert it but it's some she said something that i just went along with because like the dummy like the dummy i am she said something i went along with because i felt like i already got my get back so i'm like i need triple for real it's just the, it's just the principle like why you ain't just tell me he you feel me like we was one of them we done had we done had threesomes together all type of shit you know like we was really one of them so it's just like why you ain't just keep it real you ain't like that nigga that much he ain't had she was still we was in his mama house with him in his attic like who is this nigga to be trying to, you feel me? Fall out with over. That's why I ain't fall out with you. I just wanted you to keep it real with me. Like, I keep it real with you. So, she said something to probably divert. She probably said something like, girl, you said you didn't like him no more or some shit. I don't know what the hell. I don't, I can't remember. But all I know is, and that's how, that's why, that's probably why people say don't be friends with hoes. But it's different levels to hoes shit, I feel like. Like, I'm, I, yeah, I ain't one of them. But I, all my friends, niggas off limits. If I fuck with you, your niggas off limits. If I'm feeling nigga, you feeling, and I know you don't like him like that, I'm still going to tell you just to see if you want to share him or not, and we're going to go from there. Like, huh? Why you so snoopy? After that, after I confronted her, like I said, she switched it. I went along with her probably, and we still was cool, probably for like a month after, and then after that, we kind of just drifted apart, I feel like. We kind of just drifted apart because I had stopped going to skiing for real, and she had, I guess she had stopped fucking with the nigga, so she stopped going to skiing for real, and then we really was in Lincoln, in our own city and Grand Rapids, we really, really trying to be around each other. I don't know, maybe, maybe that tension from that nigga, maybe that nigga did break us apart, but we just stopped being as close as we was. And it was just like, well, at least I got my get back, bitch. I fucked your granddad. Uh -huh. I fucked your granddaddy. I fucked your granddaddy. I fucked your granddaddy. It was just the principle. How could you have me sending this nigga face? Like, literally, it's, it was really the phone call for me. It was the getting the money from her for me, and I texted that nigga 10 minutes before. Like, it was that for me. Like, it was, he sent them funds quick. He ain't even, she, she said, I'm trying to get a pizza. I'm finna send it. Damn. I must not be hitting no shit. I must not be that bitch I think I am. Because <laughs> I couldn't even get a honey bun out that nigga. Mm. Hey, y'all, that's how I found out my best friend was fucking my nigga. Well, he wasn't my nigga, but my crush. And I got my get back, so never confuse me. One thing I hate is for people for it to seem like people got one up on me. And I gotta work on that. I, I do that now with my baby day too. When, when I feel like he got one up on me, I have to go to the extreme and get 10 up. And it don't even be having to be that serious. Sometimes it just be a little petty shit, and I still go do some bullshit so I can feel like I'm 10 up. Like, no, I really gotta work on that. And that's probably why I ain't got no friends. No, that's not why I ain't got no friends. I ain't got no friends because I don't trust bitches. Uh, reason number one. <laughs> Read that this story being one of the reasons why. Because no, I don't want to go through that again. I don't, mm -mm, no, ma'am. Make sure I like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell. And it's many more things to come. Oh, do y'all like my hair? Period. Until we meet again.